These are Jews, right? How do you know which tribes were in Israel at the time of Well, let's see. Go to 2 Kings 17. Give me 2 Kings 17 and 18. And let's see. And matter of fact, give me, uh, and not Matatua, can you give me Ezra 1? I think it's like Ezra 1 and 5 where it says he's there. King Ash, he's there. Right? Matatua. Jesus was not in the time of the king. Jesus was not in the time of the king. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, if you want to get technical, that's God's first creation. And I heard you say, wait, wait, no, 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 now, you can look at that as a colloquial nickname, you can call them all Jews, but were all 12 tribes there when Jesus walked the earth? All 12 tribes. Were all 12 tribes in Judea when Jesus walked the earth? No, let's read it. Second Kings chapter 17, verse 18. Therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel. That's the northern kingdom. The Lord was very angry with Israel. They split after Solomon. The lower kingdom was Judea. The, the, the northern kingdom was Israel. And remove them out of his sight. And they removed the kingdom of Israel out of his sight. That's when Assyria came. Right? Read on. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. There was none left but those in Judea. Because the northern kingdom was taken to Assyria. But let me show you who was in Babylon. Ezra chapter 1 verse 5. Bring it up. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah. Right? And Benjamin. And the priests and the Levites. Right? With all them whose spirit God has go, raised. Go to one before that where you ask. Verse 4. Listen, now this is, this is right after the Persians took over Babylon. Right? And King Cyrus was letting them build their temple. King Cyrus said, who of you are Israelites? Read that part. Mm. Verse 4. And whosoever remaineth in any city where he sojourneth, let the men of his place help him. So he put, he put out his decree. And he said, hey, who are you guys descended from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Who are the Israelites? Read on. Help him with silver and with gold and with goods and with beasts beside the free will offering for the house of God. Okay, read that. It's in 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. I want to show you who the Gentiles are. 
First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. Bring it up. Moreover, brethren, I was not that he should be ignorant. Right. Right. He don't want his people to be ignorant, right? How that all our fathers, you know what? They all say what? All our? How that all our fathers were under the cloud. All our fathers were under the cloud. Read on. And all passed through the sea. And all passed through the sea. Wait, right? And were all baptized unto Moses. And were all baptized. Who's that? Who walked under the cloud? Who walked through the sea? And who was baptized by Moses? The Israelites, brother. Hey. The Israelites, the twelve tribes of Israel. Read it again. Verse 2. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud. So he's, this is a letter that he's writing. I've heard some people come and tell me, well, you know, he's saying that all of us, we were baptized by Moses, and all of our fathers are saying, Shalom. If, you, if, you're, if your ancestors and your fathers walked through the Red Sea with Moses, that means you are an Israelite, right? I haven't looked at this Who walked through the Red Sea with Moses, brother? I don't know. That's right. So he's in Corinthians, he's, he's writing to a church in Corinth. In that church in Corinth, he told them that you and your fathers, along with our fathers, walked through the Red Sea with Moses. The first one again. Just read it. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. This is an epistle, right? An epistle means what? A letter, right? So Paul is writing this letter to the Corinthians in Greece. Right? And what does he say? Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant. And we don't want you to be ignorant of this either, brother. How's that all? Our fathers were all of our fathers under the cloud. Were under the cloud. And all passed through the sea. And all passed through the sea. So if, they, if their ancestors were under the cloud and passed through the sea and were baptized by Moses, who died in the wilderness before they went to Jericho, what nationality are these people he's writing to? That's right, brother. These people are bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read this. The book of James. You know James, right? That's Christ's brother, right? James, right? You know the book of James? You don't have to hesitate, brother. Send us your question. It's all right. You know James, though, right? Okay, so this is the book of James. Christ's brother, right? Read on. This is James, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. James, a servant of Yahweh. It's James is a servant of God, isn't he? James is a servant of God, isn't he? Read on. And of the Lord Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Read it how it was written, because he didn't want to take his head because you said Yahweh. You know, he might not have heard that before. Read it as it's written. James, a servant of God. Is James a servant of God? Can we agree on that? That's what James alleges. James alleges that, right? Do you believe him? Or do you think James is lying? You have a Bible, right? I think James was recorded. James is Christ's brother. John. James is Christ's brother. And Paul Hannah Jesus, or the sons of thunder, right? Okay. James and John. Okay. You're talking so, about disciples, so that means James is a disciple of Christ. Okay. Is that enough to be a servant of God? I would think so. I think so too, so I agree with you, right? Read on. James, a servant of God. Now, this is a letter that James wrote. Let's see who James wrote this letter to, okay? And of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because this, this is the New Testament, right? Let's see who James is writing to. Now, 